right? What's that voltage say on the Honda? Probably 1.1. Bit live. Turn the turn the key on to the on position. It's on. Can you hit that? Uh, that's 11.1. All right. What about when you're turning it over? It probably it drops. Like seven. Yeah, that's not gonna start. It's not gonna start for that for reason. Four error codes. I like error codes. What? What do you think about this? How do you feel about this? They're gone. Well, why? They go away. <laughs> Let's just try to start it again. It's yeah, you're good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Throw a charger on that battery. Okay. I still don't feel like it's gonna... No, it's not. Okay, Travis, you did a terrible job recording. And, uh, that's okay. So, anyways, this car did not start. I don't know why. Uh, the injectors are clicking. At least I checked one of them. One is clicking. And the coils, I checked one coil and it's getting power. I don't know if it's pulsing. It's probably not pulsing. Um, so I just don't really know. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of research into the coils. And this is the same distributor I just ran on my NA setup recently, and I uh, just don't know, but I will mess it with it. It's, it's like 12.30 now, and I have to work in the morning, so battery's charging, and uh, I'm going to bed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, do it like that. Okay, so Munim is here. He's been a part of me building this car for however long it's been. And uh, he's supposed to be here for the first start, so uh, he's here. Well, he's actually in Qatar. In Cater. He's in Cater. And um, <laughs> so, oh, yesterday, you remember 12.30 last night, the car wouldn't start because probably, I mean, probably because, let's put you up here and you just hold on a second. Probably because in my computer, the coil unplug thing was not set um, in in miscellaneous tab right here and then there's this CRP CPR output this Travis told me hey I probably should have done this so anyways now it's ready I think and uh, remember my turbo is not hooked up so let's let's try to start uh -huh. Are you ready, Moonem? Yeah, but uh, are you making this video for YouTube? Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Let's get parallel. Let's get let's get parallel. So, um, uh. if it starts, I'm gonna just turn it off because I need to open the garage door and stuff. Here we go. It didn't start. Okay, primed, trying again. Huh, let me, moon it did not start. My battery's, my battery's kind of crappy. So, that's still enabled, it shows online. Let's just see if it shows any error codes. And show air codes. I'm gonna just upload uh, that to make sure it's there. File. Uh, did, did you recheck all the parameters? Like, I mean, the yeah. and everything. Is, yeah, I did. Everything met. Just, no. just a second. Let me. Um. Well, you can come with me. Let me make sure my like dis distributors plugged in. I did double check the fuel injectors. <clears throat> stuff I mean the parameters my friend Breck helped me go through it um okay well yeah we don't have the radiator hooked up still the distributors plugged in fuel injectors plugged in I mean I still may not be getting 
spark for some reason, but I could smell some fuel. Oh, G101, baby? Yeah. Ground, ground 101. It's a problem ground. A lot of Hondas. All right, well, I'm just gonna try it again. It's not gonna start. Well, there's this other button. I don't know what it means, but it says full synchronize when cranking, fully synchronize. There's another one that says don't fire injectors before synchronizing, but I don't. I'm just gonna push this button and see what happens. Upload. Well, it's definitely not gonna start. Hmm. I have the flashing green light, which apparently is supposed to indicate that my <clears throat> uh, coils are getting power. And yesterday I did check to see, uh, I just took a multimeter to my coils. There's three wires on the coil. I don't understand what one does, but Anyways, took a multimeter to it and it has power to the coils. I listened physically to my injectors. I don't know how you would not physically listen, but, and uh, they were clicking. So my thought is maybe I st still, I'm not getting spark for some reason. And I'm probably gonna have to look. What about Travis? Why does uh, why does not he come over and look uh, look for the uh, for the problem? Because it just now didn't start. <laughs> um, oh, okay. oh yes, and he's not a time traveler. But I just realized that I don't have my ethanol sensor thing plugged in at all. I don't really think I need it plugged in, but um, I made everything so short. Like this will mount when the ECU is in the right spot, but and this is to the coil on plug harness. I shortened that a lot too. Anyways, I'll probably plug that in and I'm just gonna have to think about this some more. It didn't start. My battery's dying. What? So you're gonna delete this video, right? Uh, probably not. You look really. No, no, no bloopers. This is it. You look good. Don't worry. Uh, that's not the issue. Uh, the issue is I'm wearing uh, my costume. <laughs> uh, Halloween's over, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good. I'm cutting this video. Let's see if. Oh my god, it worked! Oh my god. That was a lot. Guys, it worked. My heart, my heart is pounding right now. <clears throat> wow. So, I, I, so many words. <clears throat> okay. Uh, also, I realized I did something I've done a thousand times, and two times it's been pretty bad. I left the frickin' ratchet on the crank pulley bolt, but I don't think anything happened. Two times, uh, this has been set in the wrong direction, uh, locked onto something and snapped off the crank pulley bolt. So, you guys like my ground? Is that a good ground? You think it's a good ground? All right! All right, so uh, hold on, let me tell you. <sighs> Coil on plug, situation, all that didn't work, whatever. I mean, I don't know what's going on, but I put my stock distributor back um, and I reverted the distributor back to stock because I took out the ICM and the coil and some wires and all that. So I have it plugged in. Last night, Travis, he lent me his, uh, just a, I have distributor guts everywhere. Distributor thing, distributor. Jumper harness, distributor, parts, distributor caps, 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 distributors, distributors. And, uh, distributors, 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 coils, just yes. Um, 
I put my thing back to stock and it worked. It worked. So that's great. I guess, I don't know. I mean, the car starts fantastic, fantastical. Uh, at the very least, I can run my stock situation, but I'm gonna try to figure out why, why it didn't work with the coil unplug set up now. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna hang up on you now and I'm kind of afraid to run it for very long without Travis here. And it sounded like it went idle, kind of high, but I'm gonna consult with uh, Travis. Uh, set back up, coils are there, plugged in, grounded. And uh, you know what, on the internet they're like, you must remove the rotor and coil and stuff, but I just, I just don't think that's true. So that wire is going to have live 12 volts and uh, it's going to be fine hanging there like that. So I plugged in the coil unplug board to ECU. See those wires at the top? Plug it in. Let us see. Board's on. No, no, really? Damn. Well, um, you know what? I emailed Burton Racing because I was just at a loss and I was like, hey, help. And I told him that I had the CRP stuff checked off in Honda. And he um, was like, oh, that's not supposed to be checked off. This isn't like the CPR kit, blah, blah, blah. So on that note, I'm gonna plug in my laptop and Turn that off and then see if it works. It's dead. Okay, so I disabled it here, ding ding ding, and I uploaded it. And I heard a relay click down there, which is kind of I don't know what that's about, but let's try it now. No, hmm. Well, I'm gonna put it right back to stock ignition and double check that it will turn on right now. I've barely changed anything.